what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video so I'm gonna show you guys how to manually install widgets onto iOS 14 for use with Zen HTML now of course you can add repos and you can find widgets that way and uh, download them through Zebra or Cydia directly and it's the easiest method but every once in a while you guys will find widgets uh, that look really really awesome and you have to manually install it and that's why I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now for example if we go into discord here and I tested one out just for funsies if we go to the I heaven discord as you guys can see here there is a channel that is called share your widgets now this is a channel dedicated to widgets and all of the widgets you guys will find here are free uh, the only caveat is that you have to manually install it now once you've learned how to do this it's really easy and it takes probably I would say a minute to two minutes at most at most to install these so for example we'll be doing uh let's see here let's do let's do this uh 3d sense clock weather by daddy cool this is a really cool looking widget as you guys can see there so uh from i heaven you can just click on the dropbox link click, click on yep and then you can i like to continue to website right here and then from here i can click view in app and it'll take me to dropbox and this will allow me to export this widget. So from here, as you can see, zip files can't be previewed. Just click the three dots in the upper right. And then on the bottom here, you can click on export. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it to files. -a. Let it export. It'll save it to documents. Just click on save. And now we can exit out. And then we'll go into files. -a, and it's gonna automatically open us up into the documents folder. And as you guys can see, I already tested this just to make sure I was showing you guys the correct thing. So there you go, we unzipped it by clicking on it. Now this is another big mistake that I see a lot of people make, is they'll move this, this folder. This is not the folder you wanna move. So I just unzipped it, we'll go into the folder. This is the one you guys wanna move. And as you can see, when you click on this folder, it has all of the contents of the widget. Big mistake is people moving this folder and it just, it won't work. It's, it's not the correct directory basically. So uh, again, what we'll do from here is back up, make sure you got the, the main folder, click on edit, we'll select on it. I'm just gonna copy it. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to navigate to the sbhtml directory where it needs to go. Now, normally I would just click my favorites and I would just click on the favorite I have here, paste it in and I'm done. You can do this really, really quick. Like I said, less than a minute. Um, but I'll show you guys how to get to that directory. Just make sure if you're gonna do this all the time, save that in your favorites. It'll save you a whole lot of time jumping around in the file system. So from the main root directory, we go into var. And then from var, we go down into uh, library. If I can find it. Or excuse me, I think we might have to go into mobile. And then we go to library. And then we swipe down. I'll leave the file directory listed down in the description for you guys. I forget. Um, it just takes me a second to remember how I navigated through these sometimes. Like I said, favorite these sections. It'll save you so much time. And you just scroll down until you see sbhtml. Once you find this, this folder here, what you want to do, like I said, is to favorite it. So click the little star. Go ahead and click the plus button in the upper right. And then just... Click on done and you will save this section in, in your favorites. And all you gotta do once you've done that is bring up your favorites, click the file directory and you're there. So now for example, what I'll do is I'll go back to documents and this is where I started. You guys remember how long it took me to get to sbhtml. I can literally just go like this, boom, and then we can paste it in just like that. And now we have the new widget. So what we can do is exit out of files, uh, go into settings, if you guys have settings multitasking, kill it from multitasking so that the file system updates. Go ahead and launch settings. We're gonna go into my mods. We're gonna go down to Zen HTML. We're gonna go to the home screen. We're gonna do a background widget. We're gonna add the 3D sense clock right there. Just select on it and boom, there is the widget. That's how you guys are gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and let's, let's actually use this widget. This is a really cool widget by Daddy Cool. I'll get rid of my IDM empires SP or SB sorry and exit and there is the new widget of course it's not lined up correctly we can 
finesse it a little bit more to line it all up. But that's essentially how you guys can manually install widgets for use with Zen HTML. Again, like I said, I'll leave the file directory down in the description uh, so you guys can just follow that directory to get there. Like I said, make favorites. Be sure to check out iHeaven. There's a ton of really cool widgets you guys can download and install for free. It's definitely worth taking a look at. The link for iHeaven is in the description. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.